Hi everybody, this is Crystal. Today I'm going to show you how to make this little clutch. You can put a handle on it if you want and make it a handbag or whatever. It's made with the puffed star stitch, or some people call it the jasmine stitch. I always just call it the puffed star stitch, but you might have heard it called either way. And it's actually a lot easier than it looks, so let's go ahead and get started on it. Okay, for this project I am using Lion Brand uh, Heartland which is a medium weight, 100% um, acrylic, but you can use any type, it's a four ply, so you can use any type of four ply yarn that you have. And there are 251 yards in the skein, and it took me just about the whole skein, so that's what you'll need. Um, actually, I already got my big piece done, so I'm gonna show you in another color. And I'm gonna be using a size I, which is a five and a half millimeter, crochet hook okay now this isn't this isn't a hard stitch Once you, if you know how to do the puff stitch you'll be able to do this you want to start with a slip knot on your hook and you want to go ahead and chain one now we're going to be working right back into that chain one and we're going to do a puff stitch in it so we're going to pull up on your get a big loop on your hook about in uh, three quarters to an inch something like that now I'm going to yarn over and go through that first chain and drop a loop and I'm going to do that yarn over and drop a loop four times total so that was my first time I'm going to do it again that's two three And that's four times and I have let me see how many loops I got one two three four five six seven eight nine loops on my hook so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a finger and stick it right here because we need to catch this yarn so I stick it here and then I yarn over and I go through all the loops on my hook but as you can see it's catching that loop my finger is so I always put it right through there and then I go through all the loops like that and I have that around my finger and I'm gonna put my needle through that loop I can take my finger out and now I'm gonna pull tight tighten it up and I'm gonna go and yarn over and go through that one loop like that and I'm gonna yarn over and single crochet like that chain one so that is our first puff now we're going to work another one and we're going to work it right here through this big space here so I'm going to pull up a loop on my hook and I'm going to yarn over and go through that space and drop a loop four times so that's one Two, three, four. Just like that. Now I'm going to put my finger here to catch that one loop. I'm going to yarn over and go through all the loops on my hook. And I'm going to stick my needle back through this loop that my finger is holding back. Move my finger. I always grab it. Pull tight. And then yarn over and go through that first loop and then yarn over and go through the both loops on my hook it's kind of like a single crochet you just did and then I'm going to chain one just like that so that's two puffs for our base chain okay I'll show you again drop a loop and remember we're working right here in this spot yarn over go through that space drop a loop and you need to do that four times so that's one two three four and I take my finger and you don't have to you can don't have to use this finger you just use whatever 
finger you want to stick here and keep that loop from going all the way through. So yarn over and go through all the loops on your hook. Put your needle back through that loop that your finger's catching. Pull your finger out. I always grab it right here. Pull tight. Yarn over. Go through that first loop. Yarn over. Go through both loops on your hook. And chain one. So now you got three puffs. We're going to do that for a total of 12 puffs. I'm going to show you again. Draw up a big loop. Yarn over and go through this space. You need to do that four times. One. Two. Three. Four. Block that loop. Block that yarn from going all the way through. Yarn over and go through all the loops. Go through that loop that's on your finger. Hold it. Pull tight. Yarn over and go through that first loop. Yarn over and go through the remaining two loops. Chain one. Again. Pull up, yarn over, draw a loop four times. One, two, three, four. Finger there, yarn over, go through all the loops. Go under that one there that your finger is holding. Pull tight. Yarn over and go through that first loop. Yarn over and go through both loops. Chain one. So now we got five for our base chain. Let's do it again. Draw up. Go through four times. One. Two, three, four, oh, every once in a while my yarn gets stuck on another one. Let's try that again. Sorry about that. That. Now you want to do that a total of 12 times, 12 puffs, but I already got my big piece done so I'm going to work it, I'm not going to do the total 12, but I'll do another one here. chain one once you get your last one done. So once you get your 12 puffs done, remember I'm showing you on a smaller scale because I already got my big piece done. This is what we're going to do now. We're going to do it again one more time and this is going to actually going to be the one that goes up the side. So we're just kind of going to kind of do the same thing. Pull up, go through four times. One, two, three, four, do the same thing here, go to the first one, and the last two, and chain one. So that's the one that kind of, here's my base, and then this one's going to be on the side. So now we're going to do three puffs on your hook at once. And what we're going to do is we're going to do it in this space. 
this space, and this space. So we're going to draw up and we're going to work in this space right here first. Four times. One. Two. Three. Four. Keeping all these on our hook, we're going to come down to the next space right here and do it again four times. One. Two. Three. Four. Keeping all these on our hook, we're going to go over here to the next space and do it again. One. Two. three and four now this part will take a little bit of uh, getting used to probably but again you need to block this yarn from going through there with your finger and you need to yarn over and go through all these loops and I can never ever get it to go through all at the same time my yarn always splits and I have to start over but after a while, it'll become easier. I just kind of work with it. There we go. Like that. And then you put your needle back through the, the one that your finger was holding. Now here, this is important. You gotta pull really tight. Because if you don't pull it together tight, you're gonna have big circles, big openings in the eyes of your star, and you don't want that. So pull it as tight as you can, yarn over and go through that first loop, yarn over and go through the other two, Oop. and then you chain one, like that. So there's the starter, the starter one. Now we're going to do that same thing again, working in the eye of the star, this next space down here. And the next space. So we're going to pull up. I'm going to go through the eye of the star four times. One, two, three, four. Move over down here to this next space. One, two, three, four, and then the next space over. One, two, three, four. So that's three puffs on your hook again. Okay, go ahead and put your finger there to block that yarn and yarn over and go through all the loops on your hook. Well, that one wasn't too bad. Put your needle where your finger's holding it, grab it, and pull it as tight as you can. Like that. Yarn over and go through that first loop. Yarn over and go through the remaining two and chain one. So now you have part of your second star. Okay, we're going to do it again. Our three puffs again, going in the eye of the flower. This next spot down here, and then the next spot right here. Draw up. One. Two. Three. Four. Next one down here. One, two, three, four, and then the next one right here. One, two, three, and four. Okay, put your finger there to block that from going all the way through. 
yarn over and go through all the loops on your hook. And don't get discouraged if you have trouble getting through all the loops because the more you do, the easier it'll get. Now go ahead and go through that loop that your finger was holding. Pull it as tight as you can get it. Yarn over and go through that first loop. And yarn over and go through the other two, keeping it as tight as you can. Chain one. Like that. Now your piece will have holes in the... But if you don't pull it tight, they're going to be super big holes and you don't want that because it just don't look very good that way. So keeping it pulled as tight as you can is the key to keeping them circles as, as small as you can. Now we're going to do it again. Pull up. Go through the eye of the flower. And then the next spot right down here. like that your finger there to block it go through all those loops work it on through my yarn split and I think I picked a bag of yarn to show you with <laughs> Like that. Grab onto that piece that your finger is holding. Pull it as tight as you can get it. Yarn over, go through the first one. Yarn over and go through the other two. And chain one. Now you just want to keep doing that until you get to the end of your row. Now remember, your piece is going to be bigger than mine because I just showed you on a smaller scale. But I'm going to go ahead and finish mine out real quick. Okay, when you make it to the end of the row here, We'll have one more to do, and it'll go in the eye of the flower, the next one down here, and then right here at the end of this puff. And that is always the hardest one, I think, to get into, but we'll go ahead and finish out our row. And then the next one right down here. And then the end of this right here is kind of like the beginning chain. You can see it. Like that. Yarn over and go through that first one. Yarn over and go through those two, and then chain one. So that is first row. Now you want to turn your work, and we're going to do it again. And we're going to start, every row is going to start the same by doing one single one. So we're going to pull up, and we're going to be working right here into this eye of this spot, of this star right here. So we're going to go ahead and do a single one. And then chain one. And now we'll start doing our three puffs on our stitch again. Starting with this very first one here, then this one, then the next one. So here's the single one that we just did. We're going to work right back in the top of it, doing a puff. And every row is going to start the same, so. And then right down here, the next spot. And then the next one over here. And then we're going to 
yarn over, grab that yarn there, go through all three puffs on our hook. And then go through this one that our finger was holding. Pull it as tight as you can get it. Yarn over and go through that first loop. Yarn over and go through the other two loops on your hook. And chain one. Like that. Now you can see that it's starting to form the star. Okay, again, go right back into the same one that our hook's on. The next one here. And the next one here, you can see we're working in the eyes of the stars. Go ahead and pull up. Next one down here. And the next one. Chain one. And now we have one completed star right there and you can see it's got five uh, six puffs on it one two three four five six so just like that and we're just going to keep doing the same pattern until we get to the end of the row i'll go ahead and do another one There's my three puffs. Yarn over and go through that first loop. Yarn over and go through the other two. Chain one. Just like that. And now we have another star form there. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat this to the end and I'll show you how to end the row. Okay, when you're coming to the end, it should start to kind of look like this. And I just did my last, my stitch here, or my three puff stitches here, and I chained one. Now my last one's going to go right back into the same star, right into the next one, and then it's going to go right over here in the, that one. And that every row is always going to end the same too. here right there chain one and turn and that's what it's starting to look like and now it's just a repeat of that last row we did so remember we start off with our single one right here in this spot by doing that single one it makes the edges straight And now we'll start doing our three in a row by starting right at the top of this one, this one, and this one. And we're just going to repeat that back and forth for 14 rows. So when you count these puff stitches on the side, 
you want to have 14. So here's one, two, this will be the third one, third row, and then we just keep going for a total of 14 rows. Okay, once you get done with your 14 rows, this is what it starts to look like. Now, I'm just going to pick up where I left off here. I did my last um, puff stitch, and then I did my little single crochet, and then I chained one. Now I'm going to work it down the sides and all around with a row of single crochet. So I, I already chained one, so I'm going to go back into the same this spot right here and do a single crochet like that. I'm going to go back in the same spot and do another single crochet. And now I'm going to jump over here to this puff stitch here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a top, the top loop on this side. And then a top loop back here like that. And single crochet. And now I'm right here in this little center of this uh, star. I'm going to do two single crochets and then here's the puff I'm going to try to pick up the top two loops again and you don't have to be exact on picking up the top two but I always just try to pick up the top two loops like that single crochet and here's the center of the next star I'm going to put two single crochets right through that one, two, and then the next puff stitch. I'm going to try to pick up the top two loops on that one again. Single crochet. And then two right here in the center of the star. Top two loops on this puff stitch. And then two in the center of the star. And that's kind of how I'm going to do my single crochets all the way around. It's probably not going to be perfect, but I think that's what works out the best. Kind of just trying to follow this pattern. One on top of the puff stitch. Maybe. Having trouble with that one. There we go. And then two in the center of the star space. So I'm going to do this all the way down this side here. Okay, when you make it down the end to the end of the row, we'll be working in the corner stitch here. And I'm going to go ahead and put four single crochets in that corner stitch. That way it rounds the corner a little bit nicer and it don't really start to flip up or anything. And then I'm going to continue along just doing the same thing grabbing the top two loops of the puff stitch single crocheting and then two in the center of the star stitch and I'm going to do this all the way around the entire piece until I get back to the beginning of my work In each corner, I'm going to be putting four single crochets in each of the corners. Okay, when you make it back around to the beginning, here's where we started. And remember, we put two single crochets there. We want to go ahead and put two more. That way, we'll have the four in that last corner. 
and then just slip stitch into the first one and then you can clip tie this off and clip your yarn okay to sew it together here's the right side where we just went around we went around it this side was facing us when we put the single crochet on so what we want to do now is leave this side facing us and we're going to sew it together that way we'll bring up the, the flap and we'll sew it together and then we'll flip it inside out so the good side will be facing us again so here's my good side that was facing me when i did the single crochet i'm just going to take the bottom and flip it up you can kind of just play with it here till you get it about where you want it right here I'm gonna count down if you look where I started I have this one full star here and then a line of these puffs and then another star and I'm sure I'm gonna that's where I'm gonna start my uh, sew it together at, right here at the bottom of this one and it's going to be the same on the other side you got your one full star the line of puffs and then this full star and I'm going to make sure that it's straight across and do sew it together you can kind of sew it together you can use your yarn needle or you can slip stitch it or single crochet it together. I'm going to uh, probably single crochet it together. So I'm going to line it up at the bottom of this star that we talked about. So right about here. And you don't have to do it the exact same place I do. Just make sure wherever you do it, you get it the same on the other side. So if it's more helpful for you to count your stitches down exactly on each side like I did, from the corner here, the middle corner stitch, I'm in the 13th stitch down, so if that helps. But I'm going to grab a stitch on my piece here, and then go into that piece too. So I got both sides on my hook. I'm going to pull through, and I'm going to chain one, like that, and I'm going to start going down. I'm going to go back into that same spot so go through both of them again and I'm going to single crochet and now I'm going to go into the next stitch and then the next stitch on the back piece and single crochet and remember you can slip stitch this on if you wanted or you can single crochet like I'm doing or you can use your yarn needle I'm just taking a piece on or a stitch from each side so a stitch here and the stitch back here behind it on the other piece and I'm going to do this all the way down Okay, then when you get to the bottom, you can't do no more. You can go ahead and clip that off, and then we'll go do and tie that. And then we'll kind of move over, and we'll do the other side. Make sure you get the same stitch. Like, you can line it up this way just by following your needle. Or following your line over or you can count remember I did from the corner down I did 13 so you can do that again over here if you want so I'm gonna go ahead and get this flap sewed up the same way
Okay, once you got both sides sewed up, I'm going to go ahead and flip it inside out. Should have a nice clean seam, and I do. Okay, I'm gonna do one more thing here. I'm gonna take my yarn, and I am going to single crochet from here all the way across, and then I'm gonna put a couple single crochets through here and then back up around, and I'm gonna make a loop for my button, and then back down, single crochet here across the seam, and back to the beginning. So you can start anywhere that you want. I'm just going to start probably just right over here. And I'm going to go into my first stitch and chain one, and I'm going to go back into the exact same stitch and single crochet. Now I'm going to work my way around putting one single crochet in every stitch it's like that until I get over here to my um, seam Okay, when you make it to the seam here, like um, right here where we sewed it together, just go ahead and put a couple single crochets through that too. Just wherever you think you can find a spot. Like that. And then just continue working up the side of the flap. I'm out of frame, I'm sorry. Continue working up the side of the flap. Put in one single crochet in every stitch. Okay. I'm going to stop here for a second. Okay, what I'm going to do now is mark off a spot to put a loop for my button. So you're going to need some type of a stitch marker. Oops, sorry about that. And you can kind of, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it where I want to put it. So you just look and kind of count. We'll look to where you feel like the center is. And you can count over and get it exact if you want. I'm going to eyeball it, so I'm just going to put a stitch marker right about there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to say right about there. Okay. Now I'm going to pick up where I left off and continue around until I get back so I get over there to that stitch marker. Putting one single crochet in every stitch. Okay, when you get to your stitch marker, you want to single crochet into that stitch with the marker. Then you can do a chain. I'm going to chain six and then I'm going to go back into that same spot, single crochet again. Just 
So now you have a little loop to go around your button. And you can make your chain bigger or smaller, just depending on what size of button you use. And now I'm going to continue around, putting one single crochet in every stitch, all the way across the flap, then down the side of the flap, and through the seam, a couple stitches through the other seam, and then back to the beginning. And once you make it back to your starting point, you just want to end it by slip stitching into the first single crochet that you did and clipping this off and then you can hide the tail and I'm going to sew a button on it so you can use sew a button you can use yarn or a regular thread it doesn't really matter but um, I'm just going to sew it probably do that off camera but down here on this bottom part to where I can um, loop it with this loop so, so all you got to do is kind of just line it up where the fold is and the loop is and then just sew it that way okay once you get your button sewed on you're done you can actually add a handle if you want or two handles I didn't put one on mine um, this is just some flowers and stuff that I, I had I got off eBay I actually hot glued them on um, it, hot glue, glue works really well for yarn, but you want to make sure that it's low heat, otherwise you'll burn your yarn up. And that's something you don't have to do either if you can't find them flowers. Or I think they even sell rolls of roses like that at Walmart and um, craft stores. So, but you know you don't have to do that. You can decorate it any way you want. But that's it. That's all there is to it. Um, see, this was pretty easy. Why don't you get the hang of it? Um, I hope you were able to follow along. Okay. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And chat me out on Facebook, where if you make this or anything else, I love to see a picture of it, and you can post it on there. Um, I'll put a link to my Facebook page below in the description box. And until next time, have a good day.